On July 20th, 1969, President Nixon placed the longest long distance phone call ever made, spanning the 240,000 miles from the Earth to the moon. The official record described it as an interplanetary conversation. And another White House log noted that the call went to the sea of tranquility, the moon. I'm Dwight Chapin. I worked for President Nixon and I was there on that historic night. I was 28 years old. It was a night I will never forget. I made some movies with my Super 8 movie camera. The atmosphere was electric, anticipatory. Despite all the activity around him, the president was focused, fascinated, waited for the call. You can see him watching the astronauts on the TV sets in front of his desk. Then Houston passed the word. Uh, Neil and Buzz, uh, the president of the United States is in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. That would be an honor. AT&T had Apollo tracking stations all across the globe. The call went from the White House to the Goddard Space Center, to NASA in Houston, to a satellite over the Pacific, to a tracking station in Honeysuckle, Australia. Honeysuckle bounced it to the moon. It's estimated that a half a billion people, one out of every four on Earth, were watching. Uh, go ahead, Mr. President. This is Houston out. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made from the White House. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you have done. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor and privilege for us to be here representing not only the United States, but and of peace of all nations. White House Chief of Staff Bob Haldeman kept a daily diary. On July 20th, he wrote, when Neil hit the surface, the president clapped and said, hooray, he's very much excited by the whole thing, was fascinated with watching Moonwalk, etc. then went into Oval Office for TV and did a great job on split screen with the moon. He wrote his own remarks instead of using the suggestions. All in all, a great day. And he was very elated as he left for the house. Julie, David, and Tricia were waiting in the Rose Garden and walked him home. And that's the behind the scenes story of the most historic telephone call ever made. <laughs>